James Corden emerges Meg's plot for selling exclusive tapes and audios as leverage for divorce with Haas. Recently, former The Late Late Show host James Corden and his wife Julia Carey have finally sold their Los Angeles mansion for $17,125,000, according to The Real Deal. The transaction comes out to nearly $5 million less than the original asking price. The couple listed the 8,609-square-foot home back in January for $22 million. The following month, they dropped the price to $20,950,000. In March, the place saw another price cut to $17,950,000 before the pair accepted a lower offer and sold the house in May. It appears that he is seeking a new career for himself and an unexpected individual approach him regarding an exclusive interview. Meghan Markle plans to collaborate with James on a new Duchess project as a solo, according to spokesperson. Furthermore, this interview will uncover several of Prince Harry's secrets. She and Doria got Harry on tape and audio as leverage for a divorce. She already is trying to sell it. James Corden said, No thanks. Effin' outrageous. Lord have mercy on Harry's soul. Watch your back, Harry. She's coming for you. She thought this would be an iconic picture. Wrong. It became the symbol of her being a witch. She is just missing the broom. On the other hand, Haz was recently discovered sleeping outside of his Montecito house once more. Although the Markle said he doesn't have a hotel room set aside, it doesn't imply he never stays at a nearby hotel. James Corden, who is regarded as one of Prince Harry's close friends, unintentionally stopped by the couple's $14 million mansion in Montecito the same day before leaving in the wee hours. After James visited, waited for the couple in the living room, and then witnessed Prince Harry furiously leave the estate, the Sussex's mansion neighbors came to have overheard a huge noise emanating from their home. He was later mistakenly found at a hotel nearby. They soon discovered James fleeing as Meghan Markle struggled to keep a hold of him. If you missed it, James Corden was spotted dining with his family at Lucky Steakhouse after jetting back to the U.S. following his relocation to the U.K. The TV personality, 44, quit the Late Late Show and ditched Hollywood last month before moving back to the U.K. with his wife, Julia, and their three children. But James has jetted back stateside for a visit and even made a pit stop at Prince Harry and Meghan's $14 million Montecito estate. After James stepped out in a bright blue hoodie and jeans while accessorizing with black sunglasses. The star was joined by his wife Julia, who looked chic in a black coat, and his kids who he hugged while leaving the restaurant. James became friendly with Harry and Meghan after moving to the States, revealing an interview last year that their kids are also close. Speaking to the son, James revealed he and his family had a sort of playdate scenario with the kids. Art, Meghan, and Harry's then went out for dinner after. It was lovely. James and Julie are parents to children Max, 11, Carrie, 8, and Charlotte, 4, while Prince Harry and Meghan share Archie, 4, and Lilibet, 21 months. Harrison previously appeared as a guest on The Late Late Show shortly after he moved to Los Angeles with Meghan. Meanwhile, royal experts believe Meghan Markle is having a hard time finding her footing in Hollywood, with all the divorce rumors and lack of projects. PR expert Kieran Elsby recently dished over Meghan's decision to change agents and also posed some hard questions in the process. He started the conversation off by branding this decision a major coup for the agency during his chat with the Mirror. It is good business to have her on their roster. It also good for Megan to have a prestige agency. He was also quoted telling the outlet. However, it's been three months since the news broke and we've heard nothing since. This is a long period of time that is typically expected for a new client to secure deals, which suggests that Megan may be struggling to find her footing in Hollywood.